I am Anil Kumar sharing with you two questions on permutation algebra. We'll solve the equations to find the value of n. The two equations are 7p n3 equals to 6p n plus 1 3 and b is 3 times p n 4 equals to p n minus 1 5. Now in these equations uh, p n r means n factorial over n minus r factorial correct so that is the standard formula which will be applied to solve these equations i would like you to pause the video solve these equations and then look into my solution so let's do the first one now which is 7 p n 3 it really means 7 times p n 3 means n factorial divided by n minus 3 factorial correct we have simply applied this formula the right side is 6 times p n plus 1 means n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 1 minus 3 factorial so write n plus 1 minus 3 factorial now let's simplify this n factorial could be written as 7 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 factorial, right? Denominator is n minus 3 factorial. Now the right side could be written as 6 times n plus 1 factorial. First let's write down the denominator. n plus 1 minus 3 really means n minus factorial so we'll go till n minus 2 so we have n plus 1 take away 1 gives us n take away 1 n minus 1 take away 1 n minus 2 factorial now at this stage we can simplify the expressions so n minus 3 cancels n minus 2 with factorial cancels so what we get here is 7n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 equals to 6 times n plus 1 times n times n minus 1. Now here n minus 1 cancels and n also cancels. So we are left with 7 times n minus 2. So I could write this as 7 n minus 14 equals to 6 times n plus 1 which is 6 n plus 6. Now, getting the terms together, we have 7n minus 6n equals to 6 plus 14 or n equals to 20, right? So, n equals to 20 is the solution. You can adopt the same strategy, do part B yourself. Critical thing to note here is that looking into both these equations, the value of n should actually be greater than or equal to 3, right? Because otherwise, we'll have something negative which cannot be written in factorial form, right? Our answer is greater than or equal to 3, so it's the right answer. Now, let's take up part b, which is 3 times, let me rewrite, 3 times p and 4 means n factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial equal to p n minus 1 5 means n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus 5 factorial now the right side i could also write as n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 6 factorial so in this particular equation n should be greater than or equal to 6 from here. Do you see that part? Now, let's solve it. So, the left side could be written as 3 times n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 times n minus 3 times n minus 4 factorial. The right side is n minus 1 times n minus 2. We'll go up to n minus 6. Does it make sense? So that is the basic strategy. 
I hope you get it, right? So if you adopt this method, you can solve any equation of this form. Next step is to simplify, just cancel out the common terms. Perfect. Now at this stage, we are left with three times all this, and that is the left side. You could actually cancel left and right side common terms, n minus three, n minus two, and n minus one, correct? So, so we are left with n minus four and n minus five on the right, and three n on the left. So we have three n equals to n minus 4 times n minus 5. So 3n equals to n square minus 5n minus 4n plus 20. Taking 3n to the right side, we get n square minus combining these two. 5 and 4 is 9. And also writing minus 3n plus 20. We get this as 0 equals to n square minus 12n plus 20, correct? So let's write down this quadratic equation and solve, which is n square minus 12n plus 20 equals to 0. 10 times 2, right? So we get n minus 10 times n minus 2 equals to 0. That means n equals to 10 or n equals to 2. Now you will notice that n should be greater than or equal to 6, so this is not valid. Since 2 will give us many negative values, correct? But this is valid. So our answer here is n equals to 10. Now this is very important part of the equation. We have extraneous root here, n equals to 2. So please do not mention that in your answer. You have to justify that that's not a part of your solution. n equals to 10 is the part of your solution. So I hope you understand how to work with permutation formula to find the value of n. We need to simplify n plus 2 factorial plus n plus 1 factorial divided by n plus 3. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's rewrite this function. n plus 2 factorial can be written as what? Now, n, let's write this as n plus 2 times, if I take away 1, I get n plus 1, right? Okay. Since we have n plus 1 factorial, we'll kind of stop here. And the other term is n plus 1 factorial. The denominator is n plus 3. So I hope this step is absolutely clear. So whenever you have to rewrite factorials, try to see something common. Once you get it, then you just stop and do common factoring. So now n plus 1 factorial is common. We could write this as n plus 1 factorial, which is common. We are left with n plus 2 and then plus 1 divided by n plus 3. Now that is n plus 3, so we have n plus 1 factorial times n plus 3 divided by n plus 3. Now n plus 3 and n plus 3 cancel, and therefore what we get here is n plus 1 factorial, correct? So that becomes the end result of this particular factorial question. So I hope that helps. It is kind of important to understand how to simplify these factorials. Feel free to write your comments and share your views. Thanks for watching and all the best.